When NTV met Aisha Naruyange, she was distraught. She is the wife of Deo Segawa, who was allegedly abducted by internal security organization ISO agents in May 2018. <laughs> Naluyangi says that she has been in touch with ISO director Kakaba Jenda but had not gotten any clear answers. Madenga kubila mkulu kaka, nengende na kasero, ne tutambula transport inanzi guwako, ne mbivako. Last weekend, she learned that her husband had been dumped at Wachiso police station from where she had been held in a safe house in Ruamaiba, Kalangala district. She doesn't know where to go from here. Naruyange is not the only one with this kind of story. These people claim that their relatives have torture marks on their bodies. Police spokesperson Fred Nanga saying the people ISO brought to them still have to be investigated. So with this one we shall just follow up with the, where the suspects basically are and uh, what is uh, the grounds under which they were handed over to the police. If they are criminally liable, we shall build up their files and have them charged on criminal grounds. Just last week, the Minister for Security, General Eli Tumwine, told Parliament's Human Rights Committee that there is no torture at the safe houses. The relatives of the missing people fear that the move to put them in police custody was meant to hoodwink members of Parliament who are scheduled to visit the detention facilities any time. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.